Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video and in today's video I'm going to be running through a little hack that I've been using on Facebook for our clients and for our own businesses and my own profile to basically be able to ramp up new leads or inbound leads in a pretty cool manner. So this is allowing our team of appointment setters to leverage this hack to actually get up to 5,000 inbound leads in two weeks, right? So I'm going to show you exactly how it works and how you can capitalize on this hack and how you can turn those leads into book calls for your agency, your coaching business, or your consultancy. So my name is James, I'm the founder of AutomateClients.io. We're essentially a sales recruitment agency that helps agencies, coaches, and consultants build out their sales team, book more calls, and close more deals completely on autopilot. So if you need an appointment set or a sales closer, or just want some help with your offer or building out a funnel, feel free to check out our website link down below and see if we can help you go to the next level, okay? But in the meantime, hope you enjoy the video and I'll speak to you very soon. Hey guys, so yeah, I'm basically gonna break everything down. So obviously, firstly, you need to have a Facebook profile and you're gonna be using your Facebook profile to ramp up your leads. About 5,000 is the max, I believe, per profile. So I'll show you how you can first find the leads how you can capitalize on them, how you can turn into book calls, and then, yeah, everything else can then lead into the sale of your high ticket service, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna find Facebook groups where your target audience spends their time. So for example, if I'm looking for marketing agencies, I would then go into Facebook. So if I go to Facebook here, I have a new tab. I go into Facebook, I type in on Facebook, marketing agency, right? Then on the search result, you're going to find different groups that are targeted towards agency owners. Okay, so you can spend some time finding ones that are you know higher quality than others. And really, really important is that you join private Facebook groups. So there's a barrier to entry, right? If they're public groups, the quality of the lead is going to be a lot less. So you want to make sure the private group and that they actually are targeted towards your audience, right? So for example, marketing agency automation secrets. Uh, there hasn't been any crazy amount of uh, success from that before. So uh, it doesn't really matter. Again, you want to be doing this uh, on different groups anyway, not just focusing on one group. So we'll go on this one as an example, because uh, it has quite a lot of members. And I know this has been around for quite some time. So if I go to the members section here, what I'm looking for is members with things in common, okay? Because I use my Facebook profile for business and I interact in a lot of different groups, I post a lot of content around business, the Facebook algorithm is gonna recognize members with things in common, basically being my target audience, right? So if you click see all here, it's gonna give you an option to add these people as a friend, right? You're gonna notice I have a lot of mutual friends as well, which is really good because again, it just confirms that they're in the same circle in the same space that you are, okay? so. Before adding these people as a friend, what you actually want to do first is go to your profile and go to your friends list. Okay, so if I go friends and then I go to birthdays and I want to just remove a friend. So if someone that I don't speak to, okay, so this person here, sorry, mate, I don't know who you are, so I'm going to unfriend you. Okay, so firstly, you have to unfriend a friend to allow this to work. Now I've done that, I can go back into the original group and go to members with things in common, okay? I just simply wanna go down here and I wanna just add everyone, right? I could literally spend an hour doing this. I'm not gonna get banned, I'm not gonna get flagged uh, because I've unfriended a friend first, essentially. So I wanna just go down and add as many as I can. You know, you could do an hour, you could do however long you like, just do like a couple hundred and then go to a different group and kind of mix and match different groups. Um, and then essentially what you're going to do from here is that every person um, that you add as a friend is, here we go, it's not actually going to work now. Um, so it might not work for every single one, but the majority is going to work, okay? So the idea is you're going to add up people onto your friends list, they're going to accept your friend request, and then that's going to give you a gateway into actually sending them a cold DM, right? Or it won't actually be a cold DM, it'll be more of a warm DM because they'll be your friend on Facebook and it'll go straight into their inbox, not, you know, message requests, okay? So what you want to do is you want to go to your notifications tab and then you want to go down to, um, well, see all, let's do this first. 
Uh, it's been a little while since I've done this. So you can see Kyle's just added, accepted your friend request. So every time someone accepts your friend request, you're going to be notified, right? So Jamie as well. So what you want to do then is you want to come to their profile and you want to message them. And you want to say, hey, Jamie. So hey, first name. Thanks for accepting my friend request. Great to connect. And now what I personally like to do is go to his profile and find his business name, right? So Jamie Zeller, he scales ideas on the internet. He's recently posted a cover photo of some ad results, which is promising. It means he is actively working inside the agency or advertising space, but he has a bunch of different business names. So I would then assume that, so he's obviously not the guitar, former senior media buyer, former media buyer, da da da. I just say, what business are you building right now? I saw your recent um, high rose post and I want to say congrats on the win. Right, and then what I'm going to do, I'm talking about this post specifically, so I'm going to like it and I'm going to then post saying check DMs, right? So basically, we're going to be blowing up his Facebook, right? We've sent him a message, we've liked his photo, we've commented on his photo, we've actually pulled social proof from his photo, letting him know that we are a real person, that we actually generally care about having a conversation. It's not just a copy and pasted message, right? And now there's a very, very high chance. Number one, Jamie is going to see this message. And number two, Jamie is going to respond. Okay, and now once Jamie's responded, I can then ask him questions about his business, about his goals, about, you know, what he's trying to achieve in life over the next however many months. And then we can turn that conversation into identifying problems or bottlenecks in his business and seeing if my solution as a business owner could potentially help him. Right. So we only want to be speaking to people that ultimately need our help, not people that are doing 300k a month and couldn't be in a better situation, don't need any help. They're not the kind of people we want to we want to reach out to. We want to find people that are kind of problem aware, people that are aware of their problems and that they they know that they need help. Uh, and then we can easily convert those people into a discovery call, into a strategy session, and then kick off that uh, conversation and that sales process with them, right? I do think it's very important to provide value. So in the DMs, it's always best to try and help identify their problems for them and then provide the solution. Whether or not that solution is going to be my offer, at least then Jamie then will respect me and see me as an authoritative person in the space. And that maybe in a couple of months time when he does need a sales team or he does need help, you know, scaling his outreach, he will come back to me because I've already built that rapport. So it's all about doing this at scale, right? So if you're a business owner, having an appointment set, I do this task every single day is very important. Um, because they can add hundreds of friends every day and then over a very short amount of time they can actually you know add 5,000 friends that are all going to be in your target audience all going to be related to what you're trying to sell what you're trying to grow as a business and then in turn you're going to acquire more leads you're going to book more calls and you're going to sell more deals okay so this, this is the hack that I've been talking about from the beginning of the video and the importance of leveraging Facebook friends to start a conversation, to get notified and to build relationships with your target audience. So hopefully this helps you. Hopefully this, um, you know, helps scale your business. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Um, either send me an email, put a comment down below this video, send me a message on Facebook and I'll be able, be able to help you as much as you like. Um, in the meantime, have a wonderful day and I'll speak to you very, very soon.